Hello everybody, welcome to Helicopter Simulator. This is a new sim that hit Steam uh, recently. You can get it for 25 bucks. Uh, there's a lot here to check out. Uh, it's pretty difficult. So as you can see, it's only one helicopter. It's the uh, Robinson, the R-22 actually. Uh, and it doesn't take very long to load into the game. You can hear some birds and here we are in the hangar. Assistances, I have all these turned off because we want it to be pretty darn difficult for us. Uh, checklist highlight, I have that on so I can kind of explain uh, what we're doing. Uh, we're going to use a custom pre-configuration, not the Xbox controller, don't need it. Raw collective, raw throttle is on, hit next, and validate with everything turned off. So now we're in like a nice sim kind of thing. Welcome to Helicopter Simulator. Uh, you can interact with some elements, move them, or equipment. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to put the wheels on the actual helicopter here, um, which is really cool. Uh, I like to see more of our flight sims get more involved with things like this. Um, walking around, doing pre-flight, because you have to pre-flight this entire thing before they let you go flying, which I think is really cool. So I'll uh, run around this way. We'll put this right here. Make it happy. There we go. We did it. Open the doors. Yep. Come over here. We have our hangar doors we need to open. And uh, there we go. And there we go. Sweet. Look at this. Really cool stuff. Tractor, interact. Use the interaction button to tow the helicopter. Um, so we now have to, yeah, we have to use this little tractor thing to tow our uh, helicopter out to the pad. How cool is that? Check it out. What a beautiful day out here. What a beautiful day. Beautiful day to go crashing, right? We might, we might crash. And there's a uh, replay option in this to where you can rewind if you make a boo-boo and crash the helicopter. You can rewind back to that spot. That's a must. An absolute must. Okay, let's move this over this way. Kind of line it up, make them happy. There we go, right there, click. Awesome. Move the helicopter to the takeoff area. We'll pull it on out. Make sure that the blades aren't hitting anything. Oh, oh, pull it this way. <laughs> I almost pulled it the wrong way. That's all right, bring it over here. Onto the helicopter pad, which is right over here. Perfecto. A little bit further, there we go. So go ahead and click it. You can put the wheels on the tractor to bring them more quickly back to the shed. Sweet. Store the tractor and wheels in the shed. So we'll pull that out like this. Oop, don't need to run back into the helicopter. That would be bad. We'll grab our wheels here off the skids and we can just kind of set them down on top of there. You can run too. And he runs fast, like super fast. Uh, drop that on there. There we go. Store the tractor. Okay, yep, we'll grab this. And uh, you have to... You want to uh, turn to the right to make it go left, so uh, so we don't run into the helicopter. There we go, wonderful. And you can actually run with this and let go, and it will just completely fly off into uh, the hangar. Uh, don't ask me how I know that you can do that, but uh, you can, just like that. <laughs> okay, uh, computer. You'll find the computer, all the missions available, as well as exercises to improve your piloting. You can also go to internet uh, to make purchases, customi customizer, your helicopter. Uh, early access, gotta love it. Okay, so, yep, that thing's fine right there. Let's go over here. We'll turn on the computer and check it out. Uh, end of mission. We made $100 off of that. Sweet. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, new lessons. Pre-flight R22, and then we have flight lessons uh, as well. So, we'll go into the new lessons. Hit start on that. Uh, there's the internet where you can go in and uh, you have paint job master, heli dealer. Uh, yeah, under maintenance. Gotta love it. Uh, close that guy out, and then this is your uh, email, archive, starting a mission, all that stuff is where you can start missions. Okay, pop back out of here. Uh, objectives, set battery to on, oil indicator lights on, alt indicator lights on, set strobe on, landing lights on, and set navigation lights to on. Okay, let's do it, shall we? Are we not doing the pre-flight? Yeah, we are. Okay, verification of lighting systems. Activate the battery and lighting systems, then go outside and check the status of the navigation lights, lane lights, and anti-collision lights and open the hood. Okay, that's what we're doing on this one. I was about to say, I thought we were going to be popping out and going flying, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So, here we go. Hop into the helicopter. You can hit the uh, middle mouse button to zoom, which is nice. Uh, so, battery goes to the on position. You can see how things are highlighted. Really nice. So, battery comes on, strobe, and the navs come on. And then the landing light comes on right there on the actual uh, cyclic. And now we can get out and check it. So to check, you just walk up to one of these nav lights, hold it down. It goes boom, 
good general condition. Same thing with the, uh, oh no, that was the air intake. I want to look at the actual lights. You hit control to uh, uh, do the crouch. There we go. And then the beacon lights back here. There it is. And then we have the rear nav. Don't forget this nav light. There we go. Good general condition. Now we need to open the hood up. Okay. There we go. And there we go. Uh, MR temp indicator lights on MR chip. So you can see the little blue lights over here on the right need to turn on when we turn these on. So push the switches to verify the alarm lights activate in the cockpit. So we'll do that with these. We got the got this one here. Oh, dude, you're going to fall over. What, you've been drinking this morning? There we go. Eight hours bottle of the throttle, bro. Okay, so that's good. And we saw the lights uh, are extinguished there. Wonderful. Set battery to off, strobe off, blah, 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 blah. Let's get in. We'll do exactly that. So battery now comes off. Strobe, navs come off. Uh, battery, we already got it. And, oh, landing lights. Yep, there we go. So now we need to get out and do the pre-flight walk around of the helicopter. So check the tank cap right up there. There it is. Check the fuel. Um, fuel, fuel, fuel. Probably somewhere around here. There we go. Air intake. On that one, we've got, uh, we're going to be kind of doing things all over the place here. Uh, open U. Oh, nice. You can push that open. Where's it at? It's trying to let me do it. Oh, we'll check this. All right. Check that. Check that. Wonderful. Open the vent. Uh, it's right there, isn't it? Yep. No, that was the engine. Again, there it is right there. Open the vent. Nice. And you can close it too. Well, not like that. Uh, yep. Close it like that. Neat. Oh, I see the fuel line right there. Okay, cool. Um, open you up. There it is right there. Check you. Sweet. We did it. Uh, check this static pitot tube. That's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Nope, that was something else. Uh, maybe it's in the front. I thought that was it. Uh, let's go ahead and open. Oh. Can we open that up, please? Can we? Nope. Can't do it. Uh, we need to check the drive belts and the main rotor gearbox. Okay, so there's that guy. That's good to go. Um, and we need to check this guy. Oh, we already did the tank cap, but we need to crouch down so we can see this. Oh, there it is right there. There we go. Check that guy. And you. Almost. You. Nope. You don't like it? There it goes. That was the static. Sweet. Check the tail rotor gearbox in the back. Very in-depth. It really is. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh, all right. Check the engine. Oh, the other side. We need to do the other side here. So let's go over here. And we'll do everything we just did pretty much uh, this time on this side. There we go. You know, this little guy right here. Check you. That's the fuel. Uh, the cap. Check that. And uh, we'll check the battery. We'll check the engine. Make sure there's no problems there. Check the side air intake. And the pitot tube is next. Oh, there it is right there. I knew I wasn't crazy. That's a pitot tube on a R22. Check the front air intake right there. Obstructed. Sweet. Uh, close the hood. Uh, that's pretty much it for a, uh, a walk around. Let's go ahead and close that. And that as well. There we go. End of mission. $500. Nice. We'll validate that. Oh, okay. Well, you can do that too. Leave that uh, window or the door open for now because we're going to come back to it. Let's run back in here real fast. Go to the computer and do the next mission, which I believe is our first flight, uh, which is going to be scary. It's time to photograph the coast. Uh, you have to go to the Blue Angel Point to take pictures of the chapel from different angles. Okay. Let's do it. Our first flight. Simulator mode. You can at any time deactivate the assistances for piloting to fully experience the sensations of piloting a helicopter. Yeah, we're going to do that. And we're probably going to die doing it. So, all right. Check uh, fuel valve to on. And we are going to be ready to fire this thing up and go flying for the first time today. All right. Flying in a helicopter simulator. What are we doing, right? Close the door. All right. So there's the fuel valve. It goes to on. They're happy with it. Set cyclic friction to off. Um, anytime you see this thing transparent, uh, you can't move it with your stick. If you, It's the friction. So you have to turn the friction um, to the off position, and then you'll be able to do it. So 
Uh, that goes, and then the collective friction goes off as well. Uh, interact with the cyclist to take control of the helicopter. The controls will be transparent when you're not in control. Yep, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So check the cyclic for full travel free. I think we have to turn the friction back off. Hold on. Uh, yeah, got it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Turn that on. Uh, okay. Will that let me do it now? Nope. Not letting me do it. Okay. Well, maybe we need to do something in the settings. Okay. So I went back in and I had to move my uh, sensitivities back to 1.0 uh, for it to work. Otherwise, it would barely budge my cyclic uh, and everything. So we have a working collective. We have a working cyclic. Wonderful. Uh, yep. Collective full travel. There we go. They're happy with it. Uh, throttle. You can use the throttle button to switch the collective axis to the gas axis. So I've already done that, which makes it kind of difficult. Um, I have to do it with my, uh, my thumb on the left side on the TCA side stick. I have that little uh, throttle selected for this. So, okay. Um, collectives at minimum. We'll put, uh, make sure it's good to go there. Um, and cyclic in neutral position, polonier in neutral position, cyclic friction to on. Oh yeah, we have to do this. So you go, there we go. They're happy with that. Awesome. Check rotor brake to off behind us. There we go. And cycle it. There we go. It's off. Uh, check circuit breakers over here on the left. Those are good. Check carburation heat to off. And then we'll turn it back on. Uh, and set mixture to on right there. There we go. Sweet. Check landing lights to off and avionics to off. This one's kind of weird. You have to like just click it on and off and then it goes okay yeah that works there you go so it's not the best but it works uh check our altimeter there we go uh qnh set zero at sea level wonderful uh set governor to on the governor is right here it'll switch on the collective there it goes and uh throttle twists as required you can use the plus and minus key too for it which i might end up doing because it's kind of tough when the regulator is active uh, the activated, the gas level changes to color. Uh, the orange indicates that the regulator is activated but not functional because the engine speed is too low. The green indicates that the regulator is switched on and functional. So, throttle twist as required. You're going to see it happen here. Got uh, movement. There we go. They're happy with it. Sweet. Uh, okay. Battery to on. Strobe on. And we're ready to fire this bad boy up. Uh, start up, start, then both. Uh, 10 seconds max. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Go over this way. There we go. Avoid as much uh, as possible. Stay in the yellow arcs to avoid resonance effects, which is dangerous for the uh, integrity of the machine. Yep, gotcha. So we're going to bring it up. Engine RPM to hover 60%. We want to bring it down to 60% here. And let it hang about right there. You see at the bottom right. Set clutch to on. Clutch comes to the on position. Uh, blades turning less than five seconds. The clutch level is represented in the interface to the right of the tachometer. Okay. So here on the left you have, you know, that is what we're talking about here. But you can also see at the bottom right of our screen. Uh, alternator goes to the on position. Alternator, alternator, where would you be? Right there. There we go. And uh, avionics go on. Oil pressure, 25 PSI. Good to go. Clutch indicator light to off. There we go. It took a minute. All right, so circuit breakers are good. And uh, engine RPM to hover is 75%. All right, so bring it back to 75%. Let it drop. See, so yeah, I still staying in the green. Nope. And we can adjust it with our collective too. There we go, about right there. Left and right magnetos test. Once the number of revolutions are stable, return the ignition switch key to the left position. Yeah, basically how we do it in an airplane. So we're gonna uh, drop it to left, check the drop, the right, Check the drop. I've noticed you have to do both of them and then go back to both uh, for it to actually work out, I believe. So let's watch our RPMs drop here. So we got, there we go. There's the left side. There's our drop. And there we are there. And there you go. Awesome. Activate the carburation heater, then check that the temperature of the carburetor increases. 
So we're going to be looking for the temp here. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. We got our beat right here. And we check it. Looks good. Awesome. Turn it back off. There we go. And uh, needle split. Lower the throttles to the minimum to see the engine revolutions. Uh, needle split from the main rotor needle to ensure that the case of failure engine and main rotor can uh, enter auto rotation. The way this is written is kind of tough to talk. <laughs> Turn down the gas needle split. So that's what we're looking for is the needle split here. And there it is right there. So cyclic friction goes to off and collective friction goes to off. So we have full control over that. Whoa. Hello. Engine RPM to hover 102%. So we want to get the green here on both sides. Try not to die. That horn's going to stay on there as we're at the low RPM. So a little bit more. There it goes. Lift collective slightly. Engine RPM to below 97%. So I'll have to do that and fly the helicopter at the same time. But here we go. Oh, hello. The moment I brought that collective in, we have to add a little bit more throttle. There she goes. And we're in the air. Just like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're okay. We're okay. Love it. Okay, that means we need more throttle. More throttle, Jeff. There we go. <laughs> She's touchy. Okay, we're flying. I don't know what else they really want from us right now, but I pulled my uh, throttle back a little bit here, back into the green. Whoa, a little bit more collective here. A little bit more collective here. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh my God. <laughs> Careful now. I had to use full throttle on that. It was scary. All right. Whoa. Let's just fly this thing around and get used to it. It won't lift collect. I did that. Engine RPM to below 97%. Low RPM indicator light. Oh, I don't think we're supposed to take off yet. That's why. Well, time for our first landing, folks. Let's do it. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wow. Okay, that took me a minute to get around here to do that. Let's pull our uh, power down here a little bit here. So they want lift collective slightly, engine RPM below 97%. Okay. We did that. Low RPM indicator light should come on, so we're going to bring it. Fine. Oh. Keep it right there, and then add that collective. There it is right there. Collective at minimum now. There we go. Engine RPM to hover 102. Oof. I'm telling you what, man. This is not messing around. This is tough. Engine RPM comes up. There we go. Go to the position. All right, let's 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 try a pedal turn here by just adding a little bit of collective. And get it light on the skid here. You have to squeeze. In real life, you have to, you have to roll that uh, throttle back and forth here as we add the collective. We want to get it nice and light on the skids, which it's almost to it. A little bit more, a little bit more throttle. There we go. And collective at the same time. It's a balancing act of advancing those two. There we go. And forward on the cyclic a little bit here. They say to go to the position, which is going to be just to the left of us here. Oh, hello. Watch out. Don't, don't hit our, don't hit our hanger, you dumb dumb. Okay, that's where we need to go, right there. This is tough. There we go. We're in the air now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, go into the position now. Okay. A little bit too much gas, I think, right now. What do you want from me here, game? Not that. Hey, we did it. We did it. Uh, waypoint. The waypoint represented by a point indicates the direction to follow. When it turns green, you are in the right direction. Do not make any abrupt maneuvers to keep the waypoint green. Okay. Easier said than done. So the waypoint's this way on a heading of 330. I'm just trying to fly the helicopter without dying here. All right. I think we're doing better. Definitely doing better now. We just follow the waypoint. A little bit more left. There we go. It's green now. 
Wow, man. Yeah, when it gets into that uh, transitional lift, it's it's interesting. Yep, a little left turn here. Hey, we're doing it. We are doing it today. It's still a little bit hot as far as throttle goes. So we pull down the green arc a little bit more. There we go. That's better than nothing. Yeah, the physics on this are surprisingly very difficult. I mean, a helicopter is not easy to fly as it is, but holy cow, man. Once I got it off the ground and I couldn't get it back on the ground, I was like, oh, scary. All right, we're going to go to the right this way. There we go. We did it. A little more left. All the way point this way. And that stick is so, so sensitive, so you have to go real, really, really easy on it. And your vertical speed is... I'm going to change a little bit here, a little bit more to the right. All right, making them, making them happy. A little more left. You have to use a lot of pedal with this helicopter. All right, we're doing we're doing decent now. We maintain about 500 feet here. Seems to be the way to do it. I have no idea where we are or what that is on the left. We're just doing what we're supposed to do is follow the waypoint. Uh, there is a camera mode actually. Oh, here it is. Activate photo mode. Take the picture. So we hit this, uh, press this to take a photo. Okay, so uh, not sure how we do this. Oh, there it is right there. Are we, are we taking the picture of that? I think so. Yes, we, oh my God, you're gonna kill us. You're gonna kill us. Don't do that. All right, follow the waypoint. My Lord, that was scary. If we have tourists on board, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oops. Activate the photo mode. I think we're taking another picture of that again, I think. Yes, we are. Get ready for it. Because when I take that photo, it's going to be scary. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yep, that's what it was. We were ready for it that time, though. Watch our vertical speed and the amount of collective we're using here. Whoa, hello. There we go. Back on the green dot. So it's a little crude as far as the UI goes, but... The challenge in this is amazing. Uh, they did say they were going to work on VR for this, so there will be an update for VR coming down the road, which will be nice. But if you're a, a rotor head and you love helicopters, man, this is uh, this is one to, to check out. It truly is. All right, so use our. I yeah, would use our cyclic to get over the hill here. We don't have to use any more collective than we already have. And we should be safe here. Keyword is should be safe. <laughs> yep, we did that. Follow the waypoint. Back around this way. All right, I'm going to take a picture, uh, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. And when I came out of the photo mode, it uh, got a little squirrely on me. I wanted to get a picture for a uh, thumbnail. Worked out pretty decent. All right, so I'm learning this. You have to be so, so, so easy on the controls here. So easy on the controls here. I'll move my point of view there out of the way. This is pretty. Let's get a little bit more altitude. I want to be this low to the ground, especially up here near the, the mountains. If we don't have to use that left anti-torque pedal. Come on, baby. There we go. Still following the waypoint. Man, a little bit more collective here. Watch that RPM on the engine. Oh, we're coming back to our uh, our place. So they, they want us to, to land already? Oh, please tell us they don't want us to land already. Uh, maybe they do. Yeah, it looks like it. Land. There it is land <laughs> okay easier said than done oh this is gonna be scary all right so we're gonna turn this way there's no yaw string by the way on the nose that's missing all right so i'm gonna watch my we want that 500 feet per minute down is what we want oh that's where they want us to land right there okay 
Uh, 500 feet per minute down. We'll make them happy. A little bit more power than that, buddy. There we go. Whoa, this is scary. All right. Doing all right so far. Just ease it back on that collective. Ease it back. We want to get that 500 feet per minute down. There we go. Maybe a little bit less than that would be fine. A little bit less than that would be fine. There we go. Using a lot of left pedal here. Gotta use more than that. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh! Oh, lower the collective. Don't die. We did it. We did it. Uh, inch and RPM to hover 75. So bring it down. Oh my God. Cannot believe we did it. A little bit more about right there and letting that come down. That's actually pretty good right there. Engine RPM to hover 75. They should be happy with it, right? Uh, a little bit more power, maybe a little bit more. There we go. How can you not be happy? There it goes. Selective, uh, collective friction to on. There we go. Yes. And uh, cyclic friction comes on. Cylinder temperature drop. Looking for that. I don't know what that means, but I guess pull our power back. Watch it drop. No, maybe not. Yep, that's what it was. Clutch to off. All right. Wait 30 seconds. Wow. There's a lot involved here. A lot involved. I can't believe we didn't die. Like we almost died when we were trying to land earlier there when we were, when we weren't supposed to take off, but ah, uh, it's all right. Could have been worse. 30 seconds for the warm down or the cool down. So what do you think of the sim? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Yes. I'm super, super excited for uh, the new sim. Make sure to off. There we go. Engine is coming down. Wow. I think this is really cool though. And uh, you know, the new sim that's coming out, it doesn't have helicopters in it yet. They said they will add them as time goes on. And you know me, I love all sorts of different uh, aircraft. So helicopters included. Come on down, baby. Come on down. 30 seconds. Set rotor brake to on. Well, we know that's that's right here. There's the rotor brake. That'll be slowing it down. And uh, magneto off. Say avionics off. Okay, so uh, magnetos go off first. We know that. There we go. That is off. And then we can turn those avionics off. Uh, alternator goes off. Battery goes off. Governor uh, goes to off. Uh, set strobe to off and the nav lights go off as well. Uh, fuel valve to off. Okay. Back there. There we go. Release the controls. I did. I'm not touching them. Okay. Sweet. And that's all you have to do is click right there. And emission $1,500. Nice. Well, there you go. Oh yeah. See that interacts. I see checklist for startup. Uh, you have a checklist. That's so cool. Okay, cool. Um, we don't want that. Can we put it away? No, we, we messed up. We done messed up for the startup. Okay, well, we'll get out of the helicopter and have a look at how terrible we did. I, we did all right. It could have been it could have been worse. It really could have been worse. Oh man. Well, yeah, they want me to go flying again. I guess we could go flying and uh, just check some things out. Let's do it. He's getting light on the skids. I can feel it. She wants to go flying. Yep. Low RPM. Bring it back up. There we go. Just like that. Wow. Let's do some exploring. So let me show you what the replay system's like or the rewind system. So say we're doing some stupid stuff. We're like, woo, doggies. Let's turn it this way. You know, we're... We're flying like an idiot. We're like, oh no! And then we die. Uh, one of the rotors collide. You can hit rewind and check it out. 
it does this rewind mode and you hit R to uh, stop when you want to. And when you hit it, boom, whoa, you're back flying again. Just like that, nearly died again, but I didn't want to show you that. And also the photo mode, you can go into photo mode here and uh, you can go WASD. Uh, you have to use your keyboard arrow controls to move it around, by the way, which is kind of strange, I know. But you can get nice little uh, pictures here of your uh, helicopter while you're flying around and all that stuff. Pretty darn cool, right? All right, well, folks, I uh, had a PC crash, actually. I did get my 2080 card installed in there again today, uh, and I used DDU to you know wipe all the drivers and reinstall everything fresh how I should. However, when I exited the photo mode, this uh, went straight to all my monitors shutting off on me. Uh, and uh, I had to restart the PC by hard restart. I didn't lose anything that I was recording, um, but that's what happened. So let me know what you thought of Helicopter Simulator in the comments below if you want to see more of it. Uh, boy, here, I sound like an airplane. It is a plane out in the distance somewhere. But uh, yep, that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.